I'm Professor Rachel Batterham, a doctor and research scientist at UCL, looking at differences in genes and body chemistry that means some people are more likely to put weight on than others. What we're learning in the lab should be shaping the future of obesity care in the UK, but there's a reluctance to accept what this could mean in terms of treatment. There's a battle brewing within our NHS about the best way to deal with our obesity crisis. One, two, three. Between those who view obesity as a lifestyle issue. Hi, Tom. And those who see it as a disease that needs specialist treatment and even weight loss surgery. Knife, please. I know most people will disagree with this, but... I'm very much in the camp that see obesity as a disease, and I've long argued that we need to increase the number of weight loss surgeries funded by the NHS. So there we can see the new egg-sized stomach. Before I start to make my case, let's meet someone who's just had weight loss surgery and is about to receive some life-changing news. Robert had weight loss surgery yesterday and we're running some tests on him. It's not to see if he's lost any weight. It's too soon for that. But it's not too early to see if it's had an impact on his diabetes. Hi, good afternoon, Robert. How are you? How are you feeling? Oh, a lot better. Yeah, feeling really well. Yeah, so I didn't feel, I think I'd feel this well, if I'll be honest with you. So you've had the diabetes for eight years, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And what's it been like? How's it affected you having it? When you find, first find out you have it, it affects you really bad. You hear stories of uh, about people losing limbs, going blind, and then uh, I've had family kind of pass away with kind of diabetes. Of course. So it's, yeah, it's been very frightening, yeah. And what's your sugar's been like since the operation? Uh, but since the operation, his blood sugar level has been, even when he's been having his soup and teas, uh, between five and six, so... Your sugar's normal. It's just truly amazing, really. Just less than 24 hours after the operation. You're not going to need any more tablets when you go home today. Diabetes has gone into, I hope, long-term remission. This is just so much, so life-changing. Yeah. It's so, absolutely overwhelmed. Yeah. yeah. How lucky am I? We've known for over 20 years that weight loss surgery can put type 2 diabetes into remission, even before the patient has lost any weight. I can't understand why we're not doing more of these operations. It can transform someone's life and help cut the mammoth bill of this disease to the NHS. No medication. 18 hours after the operation. Off I go. 